Behold Your Beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady Book 8, by Barry Natten. All that we do in life, school, college, for example is to learn about God's last words on the cross at Calvary, to behold our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. Education is our key to further our intelligence and awareness, to one day realize, then know we are God's children. God created schools on planet Earth to educate us, so in our search in life after school and college, we can then the facts in the Bible, about Jesus, and Our Lady as our biological parents, also about the afterlife and how to build great riches there by loving Our Lady. The Bible educates us with real facts about eternity, and how we are lovingly created to live forever, there is no death to our soul unless we live a very far distance from God throughout our life on planet Earth. This explains why schools and education is so important to God through our life, it's not because government demands it, it's because God runs the government, everything in this world. Where there is one main objective love your Queen Mother Our Lady, for this is the meaning of life. Our decisions here on Earth, determine our future in the afterlife. So we are judged on how much love we show to one another also, because by loving one another, we also love God, and Our Lady, our Heavenly Mother and Father. Life is all common sense, the meaning of life is love your Mother, love your Heavenly Eternal Queen Mother Our Lady, this is how we spend forever, this explains why behavior is essential, like it is with all kids in a home, on earth. Our childhood teaches us all that God expects from us, we really are God's kids, we're choosing to be true, by loving Our Lady is the key to eternity. In the Bible it is written that John the Baptist could not drink wine, this tell us a lot about some of our own ways in life, some people can enjoy a drink, and some cannot, John was created to preach about the coming of Jesus. This was the way that was given to him, if he would have drank wine, this would have upset the way he was created to be. The less we have physically in life, the bigger the chance we have to gain spiritually, to build riches on earth, and in the afterlife, because the harder we fall in life, the greater chance we have to search for God, meaning if we had it all, we would simply not search for God. If we did not search for answers in life, in our time of suffering, how then would we have known that life is all about loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, while honoring our Father, Jesus Christ? God speaks for us, and allows us to hear, and to see, the true nature of ourselves, what really defines us to God is our heart's decisions, that we make each day, we make spilled decisions with our hearts, which is interpreted by God, and this is then the words that we hear come from our mouths. We are a silent spirit living inside the body of body of Jesus Christ, inside of God, it's complex to describe, we hear ourselves speak, and hear our comforting, and confident thoughts but, we are always reliant on God for all of our communications. We don't control that part of our brains, which means, God controls our communication so when we are not on the path to loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, all of our communications are bad. This explains why your whole life falls around you when you're not living a true life, loving Our Lady. It's a subject I would love to explore more, God voice sounds like, if you ever heard a video, where womb sounds were being played maybe on YouTube, and you hear what the baby hears. God's voice sounds a lot like that sometimes, maybe because we are in the womb of Our Lady while on Earth, but God's voice also sounds a lot like electricity running over power lines humming, but in this case, the sound is communicating with you, and you easily understand what is being said. From my experiences with my beautiful mother and father, God Almighty and Our Lady, I have witnessed God's deep love for people, we have free will and ally that comes from our mouth isn't us speaking, although free will comes from the heart, our mouths are playful toys, that God used to play music, the music of the gospel message, it's us, that decides to be used as an instrument or not. I can see so clearly that, 
the majority, if not all of our voice comes from God, it's our free will that decides what comes out, good or bad, something always comes out. Also we are God's angels, one day we will fly with wings, like a bird in the sky flies, this is how we will travel in the afterlife, once we lead a good life loving our lady on planet earth. Two days before Divine Mercy Sunday, my car broke down, I ran over my cat she never came home, my tire got a puncture, I got a new tire, the nuts broke off the wheel when tightening them, and my sister was diagnosed terminally ill all within two days, which means I was home alone, while my mother stayed in Dublin to help my sister while she received chemotherapy. But without the Rock of Las Lages image and the Divine Mercy image, seeing and praying to both my parents in my home, I'm not sure if I would be here or not. This proves the importance of prayer and faith because things happen for a reason, and if we are not living on the positive side of life, this gives Satan a huge opportunity to drag you to hell. Even while seeing and speaking to God, I still had ups and downs, but the good always outweighed the bad, I mean once you see the beauty of your Queen Mother, nothing can make things bad, no matter what happens. I messages a friend today on WhatsApp, whom God was trying to reach, I sent her my book, and beautiful images of Our Lady, that I have in my phone of the Rock of Las Lages image and Mercy image, she got annoyed told me she was not religious, and to keep that to myself, then blocked me. Then I messaged another friend from Bethlehem, on Facebook who was the total opposite, she welcomed the photos I sent and was so happy to receive my books, I thought this day wasn't going to be good from my first encounter, but this wasn't God's plan. This really showed me how we all have free will, and the result of having faith brings only joy, not anger. God tries to reach us all, through love, love comes in all shapes and sizes, it might be a singing bird, or a feeling of love, found from prayer. It's our huge responsibility to act on positive influences, and turn away from what seems right, instead just be true in life, come to the truth, and facts about who we are as God's royal children. If we don't live, and hear the call of Our Lady from the gates of heaven, it's going to take a lot of suffering, to make us take notice, and to be aware, that we must, learn to love our Queen Mother Our Lady for this is the greatest law of the universe. We cannot enter heaven unless we love our heavenly Queen Mother, this is why we are on planet Earth in her beautiful womb, to learn to love Our Lady before we are born the second time into her arms, to feel her pure love forever. Earth is the womb of Our Lady, we're attached by the silver cord, invisible to our eyes, connected to our belly buttons, always connected to Our Lady. This proves why Our Lady cries, because she feels any pain we cause or feel, we're physically connected with the silver cord, which is spoken about in the Bible, once we're alive, it's only when our bodies die, the silver cord is cut, then we connect to Mother on a deeper spiritual level like we never have before. Our Lady is Mother, Jesus is Dad, we live on a planet in the universe, we have all the facts like the Tilma the Rock of Las Lages, Lourdes, Fatima, Mejagorge, and Nock, were being called all of the time, called to share the gospel message to love our Queen Mother, Our Lady, and God Almighty, by deeply loving one another, by absorbing the pure love from Our Lady through the rosary prayer, day after day, like smelling a rose, and describing its beauty to people. We are called to share real facts about God and Our Lady as our beautiful mother and father, like writing books of truth, and love, like what is written in the Bible, to make sure people gain knowledge, then wisdom to honor God, by loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, leading straight to heaven on earth, and for all eternity. Our decisions to evangelize the whole world with truth, makes God's job a lot easier, because we can be so stubborn, and getting a message across to us, can be almost impossible, when we are stuck in unfruitful ways. So communication is your key to please God, communicating the truth and love of our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady, 
sharing her images seen in the Rock of Las Lajas image and sharing the Divine Mercy image is obviously a huge way to gain brownie points with God. So it's not difficult to be good, or get good rewards, we just have to be wise, act on knowledge, gaining wisdom from the Bible, to act correctly. Simply doing what all children should do which is love their parents, and love their brothers and sisters because we are all one big happy family. Amen. I kneeled before Divine Mercy image today in my home, and apologized for my sins, and heard God say, my sins are forgiven, I apologized for not loving Our Lady in my past. Saint Faustina said Jesus told her, the soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion, on Divine Mercy Sunday, shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. On that day are opened all the divine floodgates through which graces flow, it's a huge, moment to spend with Jesus God our Father, at this time. We are living a human life in a spiritual world, all of our communications prove this, WhatsApp, Facebook, email, it's God's way of showing us, who we are as God's kids, and our communication was, and is created for sharing the gospel message. So make sure you use your God-given ability of communication with wisdom. I just awoke crying from a dream, I was laying on a table in a morgue, writing a note with chalk, on my ripped t-shirt to my kids telling them I love them, I was going to give some advice, when I woke crying. Then I heard mother's voice say, you're not dead anymore, Barry, I gather this as meaning, my past was in the past meaning my sins that made me dead to God, and the world, were forgotten, and now, I have been found, I have found my beautiful Queen Mother, Our Lady, the one I had been searching for my whole life, now I can live, and so can you, once you find Our Lady, through the Rosary Prayer, and a willingness and desire to follow, Jesus' life examples, teaching and last words to behold. Your Heavenly, and Beautiful Queen Mother, our Lady. Amen. Jesus called the apostles and told them that Lazarus was dead, and he had to go and wake him up. There are lots of meanings to this, but one is, very important, and it means when we are living a life, not knowing or loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, we are as good, as dead, kind of like, a zombie, and the only way to become alive, again is through forgiveness from God Almighty. We are forgiven when we pray the Rosary Prayer daily to Our Lady with love, and behold Our Lady, our beautiful Queen Mother, to the world sharing her images, of the Rock of Las Lages. Sharing the beauty of Mammy, the one whose beauty cannot be described with words, only the beauty of nature, can describe Mother's love and beauty. Looking up at the stars for answers to where we go, in the afterlife, and the answer is so obvious. We go to the stars, I noticed stars moving around the sky in front of me disappearing, and reappearing, and I got a deep sense of the residence of heaven, controlling the stars, like as if you were driving a spaceship, they drive then around, and watch earth, calling us, praying, positioning themselves, in the sky at night, for us to observe and know, they move around, because God allows the residents of heaven to signal to us, every night to love our Queen Mother, Our Lady. Our Lady just told me that she wants her image of the Rock of Las Lages, to be on the money of the world printed on the money, something I realize is, when you look closely at Our Lady, all the famous pictures of beautiful queens in history resemble her beauty. The old paintings from castles, from thousands of years ago, that still exist today resemble Our Lady's beauty, so obviously Our Lady appeared to the artist that drew these beautiful pictures of ladies that we know from our history books. Our Lady told me that not only does she want her beautiful image on our money, but it will happen, I mean God can do anything, but prefers when we do it, so we can gain rewards in the afterlife, that the reason why, Sometimes things don't get done in this beautiful world, it's because we have free will, and the ability to be stubborn or willing to carry out God's will. I'm weeping, looking at my fiancé who, 
died, I have her picture on the wall of my sitting room, in between looking at her and Our Lady, my fiancé is telling me about heaven, and Our Lady is telling me beautiful things that will happen, in heaven. For example there is a game I play with my sister who is special needs, I pretend to cook, for example while she watches, to make her laugh, and Our Lady is telling me she is going to do the same for me in heaven and make me laugh, to return the love is showed to her, in so many funny ways. Now that I see Our Lady so much, in all that I do I can see, how babies communicate, and children communicate with God, in all that they do while they, develop, grow and learn to adapt to the world, and their parents' communications. This explains why we should all hang the Rock of Las Lages image and the Divine Mercy image in our homes, to encourage our kids' communication with God, they can see God daily, especially in the statues of Our Lady, they see the pure love that surrounds them, and that's exactly how we should be. For this is how children are so loving to us parents of the world, because they see love, and project love. But the truth is, this pure love awaits us as adults, knowing we are also God's kids. This is how much love God wants us to experience in our life even as adults, so we have a decision, and a choice, to experience the pure love of God, in our homes, in our life, and church, or choose not to, only believing negatively, limited to what seems to be. Jesus said the way that seems right to a man leads to destruction. Amen. As we all know from families, parents don't like having to repeat themselves, over and over again, parents love obedience, especially when all they do is love, and prove their love, by providing, and proving how much they care. There is nothing worse than ungrateful kids, kids that cannot see love, even when it's staring them in the face, this is how life is, we are surrounded by beauty unspeakable and all God our Father asks us to do is love our Queen Mother Our Lady, which honors God our Father, and prevails love to the entire world. We have prophets in life, who act the very same as an older brother or an older sister in a family, guiding and telling the rest of the family, what their parents told them to have the rest of the family do. God has sent many older brothers and sisters to give us the messages that lead to heaven, through the grace and pure love of God, from loving our Queen Mother, Our Lady. There really are no excuses, we may justify our bad thoughts, and unwise decisions, but at the end of the day, we're the one who will be held accountable for wrong behavior, and wrong choices we have made with our lives on earth. The proof is here now, as it always has been from the beginning of this magical world, so in order to honor God Almighty, you must adhere to his last words while pointing to Our Lady on the cross at Calvary, which was, quote, Behold your mother behold Our Lady, our beautiful Queen Mother, and help others to do the same, by praying the Rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, hanging the Rock of Las Lages image, and the Divine Mercy in our homes, telling people about the motherly love gained from the Rosary prayer, handing people Rosary beads, scapulars, miraculous medals, and handing people the Rock of Las Lages images, and the original Divine Mercy image, then following Jesus' life example, ways, teaching and last words, for this is the beautiful meaning of life. Amen. On my way to Dublin I noticed people praying the Rosary prayer to Our Lady in the church grounds, I heard God tell me to turn back and pray the Rosary with these people, I did so. I shared my book with them, the Divine Mercy image, and the Rock of Las Lages image, with people who were praying the rosary there. While I was there praying the statues came alive, speaking to me, and moving their eyes and body, only I saw them speaking and moving, this happens quite a lot, every statue I see Our Lady is speaking to me, within the statue, and God speaks to me though absolutely anything that my eyes see. Then tonight the new Rock of Las Lages image I purchased came alive with symbols, images, and movement what looked like, a protector from the pyramids, was feeding Our Lady, 
God sure is telling me things from what I see, it's so exciting to witness this, simply amazing, but the truth is this experience awaits you also, it's not just for me. If a bird is too heavy they cannot fly, this happens a lot at sea the seagulls eat too much, and have to rest on the waves until they digest the food they have eaten, only then can they fly again. The same goes for us in life. God says unless you become like little children, you cannot enter heaven. This means, the more you love your Queen Mother Our Lady, the more you fly like an angel, above all the trouble in life, that ruins your experiences of heaven on earth. God's word also means we need wings to get into heaven in the afterlife. You earn your wings in life when you behold your Mother, Our Lady, during your life. Knowledge is what you must seek because the knowledge in the Bible is the food that gives you the wings of an angel, knowledge makes you think wisely, this wisdom is what makes you behave in a way that is pleasing to God Almighty, Jesus our Father. If you don't know, you're Our Lady's child, you won't know how to please God, this is why it's essential to read the Bible, the Bible is our Father's message to his children, simply to love their beautiful mother because the biggest law in the universe is to love our Queen Mother Our Lady. We love our Queen Mother, by loving one another, by following the Gospel message teaching, which is all of Jesus' life experiences that we must use as our lamp through life. We all have a thing in life, an ailment, an imperfection that makes us unhappy, where we wish to be that person whom we see as perfect, but if you remember all the films we watched as kids, fairy tales, and spells, there is a hidden meaning to our lives in these films. In the fairy tale like Shrek for example, a spell was put on Fiona, but the only way to break the spell is to find her true love, this is how it is in our lives, we all have something that just drains us from being ourselves, I'm not saying it's a spell that's put on us, but simply a block from doing things in the wrong way meaning we're here on planet Earth which is the womb of Our Lady, where we must learn the most important law of the universe, behold your mother, Our Lady, once you do. This the heavy burden is lifted immediately. So there are many ways in life that seem to be, that seem to be right, but there really is only one way, and that is loving our Queen Mother Our Lady. This fact of life has been proven so many times all over the world, from the Tilma, the Rock of Las Lages, Lourdes, Fatima, Mijagorge, and Nock. When people experience trouble in life they fall, and the truth is what puts us back on our feet, the truth of how beautiful we really are. In a time of struggle, the truth that puts you in your feet, may only have been a kind word, or love from a person, which leaves you depending on their words, to keep you going, and on your feet. We are designed to love our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady, because this parent-child love is the only real hard fact of life, that enables us to live, without being dependent on anyone else, other than God. So when you fall make sure, you're holding your beautiful Queen Mother's hand, to get back on your feet, and never let go of her hand ever again. When you get your truth and love from any other source, other than God, it's a bit like going shopping every week, it's beautiful to have your food, but then it runs out pretty fast meaning, it's limited before you have to buy more. When you love God, it's more like having all the food grow in your back garden, and you simply pick it all from the soil fresh. There are huge gaps, in what we can do for one another, yes we can love deeply, but we cannot give the motherly love, and the love of a father that only Our Lady and Jesus can give. When we get sick for example, we should only ask Mother for help, because we learn from a young age in our childhoods that Mother was the only one who ever made us well as a child, holding our hand, and washing us clean to make us feel better. The reason for learning about Mother's love from a young age is to know, how important Our Lady is to our lives, on planet Earth, even all our school days and college is God's way of educating us to who we really are, as God's kids. When we attend school we learn geography, history, maths, 
science, technology, and it's all designed to educate us about the greatness we are created from. Life is a beautiful dream in our Queen Mother, Our Lady's beautiful and sacred womb, where she reads the Bible to us each day, educating us so when we are born the second time, we are fully educated with hard facts about God our Father, educated about the love of our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. There are many reasons for life being this way, but one is if we just awoke in heaven we would feel so entitled, knowing we're God's children, expecting too much, we would not have learned in life's struggles, therefore we would wake in heaven just feeling entitled, so life on earth is a big training ground for many wonderful things in the afterlife, in the pure love of God and Our Lady. In life we're tested uniquely to see how true, we can be, also how much love we can show to God, Our Lady, and one another, as a beautiful part of the royal family of God, which on earth, to then live it in eternity. God wants to see how much we really care, and if we are foolish to believe the way that seems right is the way, the way is to love and worship our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady, for many beautiful reasons, but one main one is, Jesus our Father's last words on the cross were quote, Behold your mother, while pointing to Our Lady on the cross at Calvary. So it's obvious and natural as to what we should do in life, and how we should behave in life, simply love your Queen Mother, Our Lady, and life is perfect. There are two types of people in life, those who love Our Lady, and those who don't know this is the meaning of our life. We can learn a valuable lesson from the beautiful honey bee, who loves the queen, collecting honey, feeding the queen's babies, and bringing life to nature. And then we have the very annoying fly, which irritates, and is a total pest, spoiling food, and only really attracted to waste, and things that rot. The honey bee is marked with the color of the sun, with stripes of whom he belongs to, and does a great job for the queen. There is a huge difference between a honey bee and a fly, so much we can learn from. The honey bee goes from flower to flower, spreading life giving nectar, pollinating flowers, without this action there would be no food on earth, he doesn't take much notice of the fly's filthy ways, but hopes the fly will see that honey is so much more beautiful than waste. The message of the honey bee is, all about the gospel message. The honey bee is the person, sharing the gospel message, which brings honey to the queen, and the flowers being pollinated are all the people, which brings life to this planet. No matter how bad a person behaves in life, or looks, we are all royalty, we all have royal blood of Jesus Christ inside of us all which shows our deep beauty, and heavenly belonging. So no matter where a person in life, may be addicted or broken, Sharing the gospel message about the importance of loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, can take a person from suicide to a place of heaven on earth, from the pure motherly love of our Heavenly Queen Mother Our Lady. This means you can not only save a person's life, by educating them about Our Lady, but you can bring life to the planet, and honey to our Queen, by following Jesus' last words on the cross at Calvary, quote, Behold your mother. God tells us in the Bible to learn from the ants' ways, what do ants do? They serve and love their queen mother, and would give their lives to protect the queen and her babies. Life is all about loving our queen mother Our Lady, while honoring our King Father Jesus. This is the answer to everything, and when you follow Jesus' life examples, teachings, and lat words, you will know how true this is, because when you love Our Lady, the penny drops, the clouds drop down the dew, milk and honey returns, heaven on earth is felt daily. You can lead a lamb to water, but you cannot make her drink, which means you have to decide, to love and behold your Queen Mother Our Lady, because you have free will to choose right from wrong. We are not robots, free will gives us the exciting ability to choose, meaning you can choose right now to love and behold Our Lady in all that you do in life, or not. God's biggest wish is for us to love our Queen Mother, all the earthy fathers of the world have this rule, in their homes also, 
so it's quite easy to understand God's heart. As we all know from our homes on planet Earth, once you love your mother, or mother figure life is simply heaven, life is designed this way to show us, our beautiful reality as God's kids, who must love the Queen of the Universe, Our Lady. This fact of life cannot be more obvious, it's written in the stars, written on the leaves, and in so many ways in nature, we just have to wake up and smell the roses. Facts are facts we are God's kids, and it's vital you be a good influence, and educate people about our ladies, regardless to how people are living. The most important part is you showing your kindness, generosity and love to God, your life is about you your mama and dad, the king and queen of heaven. In a family household on earth, behavior is what parents care mostly about, and those siblings who help, their brothers and sisters to love mama and dad, are rewarded the most, because they are wise, knowing that bad behavior also has a consequence, so wisdom makes you only depend on God for everything. From my experiences with God and Our Lady, I have quickly learned so much about people and myself, and what stands out like a sore thumb is, God lives within us all with complexity, controlling our communications, which determines life's outcomes. And the beauty we are so deeply attracted to within one another is our God that lives within. This is clearly known when you look into the most beautiful and wonderful eyes of Our Lady, face to face which is available to all who hang the Rock of Las Lages image in their homes, while looking deep into Our Lady's eyes for answers. From my communication with Our Lady, I can clearly see that there is so much happening within us, that seems to be, but in fact, what seems to be, is so far away from what is true. This all means so much but, we are simply a royal child, whose main existence is our spirit meaning the words that come from our mouth are simply, unnecessary and irrelevant, unless we are praying and sending honey to heaven, by sharing the gospel message. Life is all about Our Lady, this is the law of the universe, we will always be God's kids, and when you share the gospel message, it's the good news that we all need, because it proves and educates us on our deep royal beauty. Once we know this beautiful fact of life, it doesn't matter how bad things may seem to be, the truth is what sets us free, like a rainbow on a rainy day, words cannot describe its complexity, and deep beauty, but the knowledge written in the Bible sure can, we are God's kids. Beauty speaks volumes without words, and doesn't need a label, we are simply children of the King and Queen of the universe, and we don't have to explain it, we just have to live it, and enjoy to the full with joy you would expect a child of God to have. We are not perfect, but we crave perfection, because we are created from perfection and royal beauty, the reason for this, can be compared to a rose bush that battles the winter months, the summer approaches and once it uses the heat and life from the sun, it becomes the most beautiful flower imaginable, and always unique, which is what our Queen Mother loves best unique and loving children. The lessons in life we learn, things going from bad to worse, day in day out, week on week, year on year, makes us appreciate, and really see the good when it comes around. This explains why in life, we experience the rough stuff, because like all mothers on earth they, have to teach their children, Our Lady teaches with our lives on earth so that when we get to heaven and experience her love, we will really appreciate life in heaven, and where we lived on earth. This is amazing news and explains, bringing pure logic and understanding as to why, we have to weather the storm, because we will have memories, of our lives on earth, where mother will always ask, us do we want to go back to earth, as a playful question, to help us understand and know, the beauty we are created from, Learning is what life is all about, we learn every day, we're learning from the day we're born, about mother's love, then we go to school, college, and learn skills in jobs, also learning how to love one another, then realizing our deepest search is God within us all. We have so much to look forward to in the afterlife, 
so it's vital you gain this knowledge, which brings wisdom to behave in the right way that you can share the book of your life, at the dinner table in heaven with all your family, friends mother and father, with a story of beauty and truthfulness. We serve the king, when we love our queen, and we do both when we love one another by educating one another, with the truth and love of the gospel message. Our King Father Jesus owns the universe and everything in it, so serving the King is the most rewarding duty on earth, and in the entire universe, but we have to know the truth, while on earth to behold Our Lady, and act upon this knowledge, wisdom, and deep understanding, as children of God. Just now as I walk into my bedroom, I see a beautiful pink color glowing on the rock of Lars Lager's image, and last night I felt the most amazing experience while kneeling before the Divine Mercy image, where I saw and felt God, deep within my being, hearing His voice, making me think how small I am, when compared to the One who created the universe. My knees feel like they roar inside of my bones sometimes but I kneel despite the pain, the pain is sometimes my way of showing respect, because respect is extremely important when you're speaking to God. The more we get to know God here on earth with our lives, the less of a shock it will be, when we're in the afterlife, because one day we will be there, and our jobs will be serving our Queen, while honoring the King. The Hail Mary prayer is constantly prayed in heaven, our Queen Mother sits beside our king, while we fly around with the wings we earned with our lives on earth. All the great movies we watch like Guardians of the Galaxy, really hint to us, of what the afterlife will be like, when we explore planets like NASA, we may not see any signs of life, but we only see what God allows us to see, after all God made our eyes to see, and our ears to hear. From all the experiences I have witnessed with Our Lady, and God Almighty, I feel blessed and very lucky to have made right the decisions to search for real answers in life, lucky to have been given the ability to identify lies from truth, and when you hang the rock of Lars Lager's image and the Divine Mercy image in your home, you will see and know the truth, and how real and beautiful God really is. The rock of Lars Lager's image and the Divine Mercy image come alive when you look at them because, this is the revelation God wants us to have in 2022 and forever. Now that we have many forms of communication like Facebook, and WhatsApp, when God reveals himself to the world, everyone will know all at the same time, because we are all connected through social media like never before. After this happens, it will be our huge responsibility to then educate the newest generations that did not witness this historical event. It will be our huge responsibility to share the Rock of Lars Lager's image and the Divine Mercy image, to the new generations, so they know how God and Our Lady are really our biological mother and father. This way we can all live as royal children of heaven, on planet Earth. God and Our Lady have spoken to me and told me, that they want the population of the world, to hang the Rock of Lars Lager's image and the Divine image in our homes so we can see God, all of the time, and pass these images to the next generations of our families and friends, so they know the only way through life, which is loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, while honoring our Father, beautiful Jesus Christ. You can choose to constantly go around in circles, living wrongly or simply live knowing you're God's kids, and behave the way a child of God is expected to behave. Our Lady asked us many times to pray the Rosary prayer daily to her, for many reasons, for example this fights Satan's attacks, the Rosary connects your spirit to Our Lady's spirit in a child to parent love. Jesus told us on the cross at Calvary to behold Our Lady in his last breath, clearly telling us the meaning of life, is to love your beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. So we have been told and warned, it's now up to you to make that decision or not, every decision you make has a consequence, good and bad, we have all the facts of God, even written in stone around the world, so there is no excuses that will justify bad behavior on judgment day. When things go wrong it's supposed to make us better people, better children of God, 
who learn for their mistakes, we all know about God, for God is evident in the sky each day, so you just have to do as God asks and behold Our Lady, this is the way through life, for all pure love comes from this love. Life's not about trying to be someone you're not, we're all different, for a good reason, and that is to show unique love to our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. You should always have a strong love for God, and Our Lady, despite what other may or may not believe. Your life isn't about you and people, your life is about you, your heavenly parents, Our Lady and God Almighty, once you love your heavenly parents, then you enjoy life with family and friends. This message is written in the stars, the leaves, even on your body, it's a triangle that represents mother, father and child, using all three points of the triangle to indicate this true and beautiful fact of life. If people chose a bad path, that's on their shoulders not yours, you can be a good influence, and share your love for your queen mother steer them in the right direction but they have to make up their own minds at the end of the day. The happiest people on earth are the people that have faith, for they are the most positive people to be around, and the most successful in life. The only way to love people is to put God first, kind of like studying for a very important exam, you study very hard, and are rewarded for doing so, in return for your hard work. Prayer is the same way, you spend time with God, this crushes all fears, worries and concerns you may have, only then will your friends gain great pleasure from your company, all the pleasures in life come from God, so why drink from a dripping tap, when you can drink from the river? You only reap what you sow, this is God's words not mine, and God's greatest wish is for us love Our Lady, so much so. He chose crucifixion to get this message across to us, this says and means a lot, it shows so much deep love, for crucifixion is the worst and most painful death known to man. The gospel message was all carried out by our heavenly mother and father, in the flesh, to guide us to the words of life behold your mother, behold your queen mother our lady. Amen. Life is all about mother, which is beautiful. A mother is the meaning of beautiful, our biological mother Mary, is the one and only queen of the universe, not just the world, so our lives are designed to bring her honey and joy, just like the honey bee gathers it from the flowers for the nest we must do the same by, sharing the gospel message throughout the world. Everything in life points to Our Lady, the clouds, the honey bee and queen, the ants and their queen, the oceans, the stars night and day. Our Lady once told me that she writes all the stories for our films, the sweet and loving ones like, all the classic fairy tales, to communicate her heart and thoughts to her children, this is clearly witnessed with the happy ending, they all have, which we can have, once we love Our Lady. Once you realize you're Our Lady's royal child, you must do all you can with your life on earth to show her deep love so that when you get to heaven you can be rewarded. This is obviously the rewards Jesus was telling us about, on how to love Our Lady, as a queen should be loved. To love the queen people need to know about her, so it's vital you educate people about her requests to pray the rosary prayer daily, and to follow Jesus' life examples, teaching and last words, to behold your mother, to bring Our Lady great joy. Obviously life is about our queen, all women are queens, and are the center of our lives, bringing life to us all, being the heart of every home, and the love that we all need, this explains why all women crave constant love because they constantly love, especially her children who love her the most. When we love our queen mother, the clouds drop down the dew, milk and honey returns, on the other hand if we don't love mother the frost returns, which always takes the sun's heat to make it disappear. The world is circular to really show us, that life is a circle of trust in our Queen Mother's sacred and beautiful womb, and that life is all about loving Mother, and if you don't get that you will continue to go around in circles, until you get it. To have a happy home, 
you must hang the Rock of Las Lajas image and the Divine Mercy image in your home, showing deep respect to God, while kneeling and praying to both images each day, this is common sense, we can still enjoy our lives as we normally do, but this way life will be enjoyed one million times more, for many unspeakable reasons. In all that we do and enjoy, we must seek a deeper knowing and a deeper togetherness with God, because without knowing and loving God, there simply is no pleasure to life. When we were young, we ran to our parents for everything, like money, love, guidance, laughter and fun. This is what God desires when we leave the shelter of our earthly parents' grace and love, in a deep search for more than what we lived with them before. Like the sparrow leaves the nest, when it has outgrown its welcome, we outgrow our family homes in a search to perfect the way we grew up in our homes. But there comes a time in a relationship where your search far outgrows what a spouse can give you. The deep love we crave is the motherly love of our Queen Mother Our Lady, meaning we search deeply for our God that lives within us. Not everyone welcomes God into their body, their temple. So when you're married to someone who doesn't pray the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, and follow Jesus' ways, and teaching, this brings a huge dry patch, and this is where marriages break down, only the love of God can revive a marriage. So if you want true love make sure, that the person whom you are with loves and respects God, otherwise you will have the constant feeling of living on a desert island, instead of an island that resembles paradise. It's easy to love Our Lady, we love one another by directing each other, to the Rosary Prayer, Holy Mass, and the life of Jesus written in the Bible, where the most important words ever written were, Behold your mother. If you want true love, you have to love God first, because God controls love, because God is love, and you must always love God. God is our biological parent which was proven in the Immaculate Conception as to how our spirit was placed in our earthly mother's wombs, already conceived in heaven, like how sunshine shines through a window without breaking it. This is a fact of life, we are beautiful beyond imagination, and Our Lady desires a deep relationship with us throughout our lives, while we live in our bodies, the body of Jesus Christ, with one main goal, to love, dismissing our fleshly desires, dismissing the way that seems right, instead living in a beautiful way that is only true, and heavenly, holding our beautiful Queen Mother's hand, through life. We all have different things to bring to the table, we have personalities, personal traits and behaviors, some of us are very funny, some of us love deeper than others, but the most important fact to remember is, you must love God, this is the only fruitful way in life and the only way you will ever shine like a diamond. From my experiences with Our Lady, I have found only love, motherly love so deep, that I cannot find the words to describe what I have seen. The only way to communicate this pure love I see, would be to hand you a bunch of the most beautiful roses, under a rainbow, that you can feel deep within you, looking deep in your eyes, but speaking no words. If you can think of the best day you ever had in your life, and multiply that feeling you had of love by 100 million, this is the only way to describe, the love you feel when you hang the Rock of Las Lajas image and the Divine Mercy image in your home, it's like someone delivering fresh red roses every morning to your home, then delivering all the fresh food you need, where you have all your needs met. This is the life that awaits you. When you love and behold your Queen Mother Our Lady, her love for you is maternal, you're really her child. This is not just words written. This is a beautiful fact of life that always is, and always will be. You only reap what you sow, and you have free will, so you get to decide what you reap in life. So this writing is my testimonial to help guide you to everlasting life with heaven on earth along the way, as I write this Our Lady is observing and influencing me, to get this message to you, as best I can. The truth is yes I have suffered, but with great pain comes great truth, without pain how would we know beauty, but luckily I used my pain in a positive way, meaning I saw the truth, 
the light at the end of the tunnel, in my time of suffering, which leads me to understand, why, turning away from what seemed to be, instead welcoming what is true, finding Our Lady is finding the gold, and treasure at the end of the rainbow. So no matter how bad things may seem to be, the truth about being a royal child of God is far greater than any trouble or worry you may have, so we constantly trust in God, and love God, by loving our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady, this brings heaven on earth. Pain is designed to make us know the truth about being children of God, because building riches in the afterlife is what Jesus told us to do with our lives. But if we didn't experience suffering, how would we wake up to our beautiful reality, as God's kids? It's like breaking your leg, you're rushed to hospital for surgery, but then you fall in love with the nurse, without breaking your leg, you would have never met her, so there is a puzzle in life, where all the pieces have to come together, like a brilliant story, different things happen for different reasons, we're all unique. Like flowers they weather the winter storm, then the sun shines bringing life, to the flower, but the intensity of the storm helps the roses to develop into the most beautiful flowers, without the winter months, the roses would be boring, and not unique. There is one main goal in life, and that is love and behold Our Lady, but there are times when one can miss this message, because it's so true and beautiful, suffering is a gift that makes us see the bigger picture of life, it's a gift that makes us search deeper, than what seems to be, and without suffering how would you have known the deep beauty of our Queen Mother, and the deep royal beauty of your existence? It's kind of like, giving a child extra books to carry to school with them every day, they complain, because they cannot run, and the books are painful, because their bag is so heavy. But when they grow up, they soon learn, that it was the extra books that brought strength, knowledge, and the wisdom that educated them, to becoming the best student in their school, they may have been upset at the time, it may take, years of learning for them to realize, all you did was love. Life is a journey, it's a quest for the king to save our lady, our queen from the fiery dragon, called Satan, who is very real, and attacks daily causing suicide and despair, this explains why we must pray the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, while marking ourselves with the rosary beads, miraculous medal, and scapula, the cross is our sword, the miraculous medal is our shield, and the scapula is our armor. The winter is what gives the tree its strength, using its roots to grab the earth and soil, using the rain to soak up its moisture, storing it for the dry seasons. We use our pain in life to gather knowledge, which brings wisdom to think wisely, using only facts, about the Tilma, the Rock of Las Lages, Lourdes, Fatima, Medugorge, Nock, and so many more facts about God, like the Bible, to be a fruitful tree, where people can, eat from our tree, but the food we supply is the great knowledge and expectations of God Almighty, to behold Our Lady our beautiful Queen Mother. As we all know our Mother is the one who's always there for you, this is how life is with Our Lady, she is the one we must put all of our trust in, loving deeply with all of our heart, mind, and soul. If you put your trust in anyone other than God, and Our Lady, you will live a life of constant distress, and disappointment, and this will continue until you reach a point of despair looking for answers to life when all the answers to everything stares you in the face each day, which is love your Queen Mother Our Lady. So you will always reach a place in life where you look for directions, but not everyone is great at giving directions, especially if they don't have knowledge, that's why it's vital to seek directions based on only facts, facts about God, because we really are God's beautiful children, who need to find the way to heaven by holding Our Lady's hand through life, and then she will hold our hand at our time of death to our bodies, to lead us safely to heaven. If you only saw what I have seen while looking at the Rock of Las Lages image and the Divine Mercy image, you would do all that you can each day to love and behold Our Lady, 
I spend every penny I have buying the Rock of Lars Lager's image, and the Divine Mercy image to give to people, while writing these books, sharing the gospel message, and printing and distributing all of Our Lady's messages from Major Gorge, to as many people as I can, because I see God Almighty and Our Lady watch me each day, with their beautiful, and everlasting motherly love. If I did not seek and search frantically for God in my time of suffering, I would have had no message to write here, which would have left me the same as everyone else, so be unique, trust in God, the Rock of Lars Lager's image and the Divine Mercy image are the two most beautiful images your eyes will ever see, so it's such a pleasure to see Our Lady, and Jesus watch you each day in your home. My life is heaven on earth because I see God, and do all that I can to show love to God, and you can do exactly the same as I, by simply hanging the Rock of Lars Lager's image and the Divine Mercy image in your home, praying the Rosary Prayer daily Our Lady, while following Jesus' last words, life example, and teaching to behold your mother. Life can be tough. But as we all know parents push their children to be the best, our parents really are God Almighty and Our Lady, they are the King and Queen of Heaven, and Earth meaning their standard is extremely high, they know Heaven awaits us, so they push us to our limit to build our riches in Heaven, by living as they ask us to live on Earth. If you don't have knowledge given to us in the ancient scrolls, called the Bible, you will not understand life and why things go wrong so often. Our heavenly parents push us to be true and beautiful, because truthfulness is the most beautiful, and beauty is what Our Lady does best, clearly seen in the Rock of Lars Lages. The more that goes wrong in life, the greater your search is, the greater the search for truth, the more God will reach out to you spiritually, a lot like a parent who pushes their child to college. The child may be unhappy with so much lessons to learn, until they really get a great job, and then they see all that learning was exactly what they needed to succeed. God is the one who created schools and colleges, for the simple reason education is key to life, we all need to be educated about the law of the universe, which is Our Lady is the answer to everything, the meaning of our lives, she is our beautiful Queen Mother, and we have to love her because if we don't we cannot enter heaven, this is the strictest law of the universe. Things are not always how they seem to be, even when you lose a loved one, the knowledge of the Bible educates you, to know for sure they are in heaven, and safe in the love of our Queen Mother. So without knowledge, problems can destroy you, if you allow it, on top of problems we have a spiritual whispering enemy and total liar, who waits for things to go wrong, before he attacks your mind, he is called Satan, and if you listen to his lies, for sure you will be dragged to hell. We fight Satan by praying the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, and marking ourselves with the rosary beads, miraculous medal, and scapula, Satan sees this mark and runs from you in fear, because by wearing these you're marked as belonging to royalty in heaven. When I experienced a loss that was devastating, I lost a huge part of myself, then Satan attacked and tried to get me to commit suicide, but an old man handed me rosary beads in a church one day, which took less than 10 seconds, then I started praying the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, this kept Satan away, and then I went on this quest for the King, to bring people back to the love of Our Lady. This is continuing nearly three years now, and it gets more real, and better every day. But if I decided to be angry about my loss, and copying other people's unwise ways to deal with problems, I would have destroyed myself, from Satan's torments, and been a really bad influence on other people. I chose to dig deep, praying the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, hanging the Rock of Lars Lager's image and the Divine Mercy image in my home where God spoke to me, to help people learn this knowledge of God through my writing. There is a clean road holding hands with Our Lady, while you weather the storm, and there is a filthy road listening to Satan's lies, which leads to total destruction, and certain death, you have free will to decide which road you will take, 
I encourage you to call out to our beautiful Queen Mother, through the Rosary, read the Bible where you will gain knowledge, then wisdom to behold Our Lady, to honor God Almighty. I spend time each day, talking to God Almighty Jesus, and Our Lady each day, I even wear my favorite t-shirt with their image on it, so no matter what I do, I see them all of the time, I do this out of love, because I know the truth about life on planet Earth, and you can do exactly the same. Let my writing be a great influence on you, I still have a great life, I enjoy a drink with friends, I listen to music and watch Netflix, so you can love God and have a brilliant life, in fact the more you love Our Lady, the more God makes your life heaven on earth. After all God created all that we enjoy on earth, so God wants you to be happy, and full of joy, but He wants you to enjoy life to the maximum, which only comes when you love your Queen Mother Our Lady. There isn't enough paper in the world to write all the things that went wrong for me in my time of suffering, but I laughed it off, and got closer to God, realizing that's all God wants is togetherness, and He will anything to get that message across to you. On the one hand we have Our Lady calling us from the gates of heaven calling all her children each day, like a mother calling her children for dinner, especially calling us when we feel pain because this is the time we search for answers. On the other hand, when things go wrong, Satan tries to encourage you to anger, revenge, and hatred, and when he knows you recognize his filth, he tries to kill you by suicide. This was proven in the Bible when Satan told Jesus to jump of the temple. This is God's way of warning us how Satan behaves. Satan said things like, If you're really the Son of God, turn that rock into bread, mocking him into thinking he wasn't from God. This is exactly what Satan will whisper in your ear, especially when you're reaching out to God, in your time of suffering, so if have to be aware of this, we're all beautiful children of God, and yes, it is written, it is written in the beautiful Bible, who we belong to, and what we must do in life to honor God Almighty. The reason why things seem to be, not of what is written here is, Satan causes doubt, and successfully convinced people that they are not from God, and then throw free will on top of that. People normally take what seems to be the easiest road, not knowing the easiest road is loving our Queen Mother, Our Lady. We are all from God, and all very unique to show unique love to our Queen Mother Our Lady where great rewards and riches await those who love Our Lady in life, if these rewards were for everyone they wouldn't be rewards. This is why we must search for God, and Our Lady, in our time of suffering, because this is God's way of giving us a huge opportunity to gain the great riches in heaven, that is spoken about in the Bible. When suffering comes grace always follows, and this is a window of opportunity to love Our Queen Mother Our Lady and build the great riches Jesus spoke about. Parents love to shower their children with gifts, and life is an opportunity to gain them riches in heaven, but you have to have the facts written here, so does everyone otherwise how will they know what they are doing in life? The most important thing you can do in life is, leading people to their Queen Mother's love, by telling a person exactly what Our Lady asks us to do each day which is pray the rosary prayer daily to her, and follow Jesus' life example, and teaching, to know how to love one another and God. Jesus' last words on the cross at Calvary were, Behold your mother, telling us the meaning of life. So hang the rock of Las Lages image and the divine mercy image in your home and follow Jesus, and all his ways and teachings, to successfully pass the exam of life and then inherit the biggest blessing in the afterlife. The pyramids told us all we need to know about building riches in the afterlife. This is the main message, while telling us about the King and Queen of Heaven, God Almighty and Our Lady. If life was easy how could we gain rewards in Heaven? That's why God says love your enemies, because anybody can do what everyone else does, and when we love our enemies, it proves we have understood God's message, and how God lives within us all. When we love people we love God, 
when we help those that are rejected by society, we help God, because God tries to reach those who are struggling, because it's in our time of struggle and pain, is when we search for answers. When a person is lost, this is when they seek directions, so we can help people who are lost, they may be addicted, in prison, or really unwell, but if you were to judge a person on their behavior, instead of leading them to our Queen Mother's pure love, they could be lost forever. So there are many people seeking directions in life, and it's our job to help them and guide them out of the maze, to the pure motherly love of our beautiful Queen Mother, Our Lady. Amen. God is everywhere you look, you only have to look at a tree, for example, to know God is everywhere, there are some that are lost in need of directions, and you can build great riches here on earth, and in heaven by giving them the right directions to Our Lady's pure motherly love through the rosary prayer and following Jesus' life example and teaching. You have free will, and you have facts, so it's really on your head what you decide which will either be right from wrong, good or evil, there is no middle ground, if you're sitting on the fence, the fence belongs to Satan, so if you don't love our Queen Mother Our Lady each day, you have made your decision to listen to Satan. Life is all about decisions, and God encourages us to decide to love instead of lying, or living untruthful, the truth is beautiful, Our Lady is the most beautiful, Jesus is beautiful and they are both our biological parents proved in the Immaculate Conception. The fact that God is our parent, highlights the importance of loving God, and doing everything we can to honor Him by loving our Queen Mother Our Lady. It's easy to love God, you simply love your Queen Mother Our Lady, which is such a pleasure because she is so beautiful, so life is win-win, when you love Our Lady. This writing is from God, and not from me. So let this testimonial be your lamp to love, greater than you could have ever imagined, wrapped in the arms of your Queen Mother Our Lady, with the blessing and grace that Jesus gives to those who love their Queen Mother, Our Lady. Amen. Parents don't like having to repeat themselves, or keep telling you to do something, when it's obvious what you have to do, there are so many facts, and knowledge about God in this world for example Lourdes and the Bible. We have been told what to do, Jesus our Father told us how to love, and live, with his last breath he shouted, while pointing to Our Lady, quote behold your mother our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. Jesus told us about building riches in the afterlife, so to build great riches there, you must adhere to our Father's last words, meaning behold and love our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady and direct the lost to do exactly the same. God is not silent, we live in the body of Christ, the body of God, so God is within us, we are the one who must make the decision to pray the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, and follow Jesus' life example, beholding and loving Our Lady, which honors God our Father. To love our Queen Mother, we educate one another with the Gospel message, the power of the rosary prayer handing people images of the Divine Mercy image and the Rock of Las Lages image, to show the lost, their biological parents, sometimes all a child needs to be comforted is to see their parent. We're all searching for Our Lady and Jesus, because they are our real biological mother and father, so when you help a person find their mother's love, obviously you're blessed, but so much more than words in the afterlife. Our pain gives us an opportunity of grace, to become truthful, and as a real guide to people, prevailing true love from God, with the King's reward of, by directing a person a way out of hell on earth, a way to battle Satan, that really works, by praying the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, following Jesus' words, and life examples, while always holding our beautiful Queen Mother's warm hand. Last night I went to Portalington, and gave a parish, all of Our Lady's messages to visionaries in Major Gorge from 1984 to 2022, and images of Our Lady, and Jesus, to people, who were praying the rosary prayer. While I waited for the rosary, 
to begin the statues came alive in the grounds of the church statues of saints, Jesus and Our Lady, this happens a lot. And today I saw God Almighty smile at me from the clouds, the interactions I have are brilliant, simply amazing, and so much fun. It's so beautiful to be able to see, our parent who is God, words cannot describe this experience, but it's for all of us, that's why God Almighty, and Our Lady want us to hang the Rock of Las Lages image and Divine Mercy image in our homes, so when we see God, and Our Lady in our homes, through both these images, we do all that we can to show love, and all God our Father asks is for us to love our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady, which is so easy, working for beauty, is heaven on earth. Everything that you do for God with your life on planet earth, is remembered for eternity, so you must decide what you see as your truth, both decisions have consequences, you must decide your eternal resting place. God wants to use you, to work for heaven with your life, there is no point waiting until you get really old, anybody can look to help God, in an old age, but can you do it when you're young, can you search for God when you're surrounded by people that are not? This is a sure way to show how unique you are. Being unique is not done by following people's fruitless ways. Being unique is knowing how real Our Lady is, and doing all that you can to impress her. That's beautiful and unique, and this is exactly how God Almighty, our Father expects us to behave, so much so, he talks about his beautiful queen and wife in the Bible, which is very clearly recognized in Proverbs. This is where God talks about the ants, and how we should learn from the ants' ways, and how they love their queen. God also speaks about how Our Lady's love is worth more than gold, and it's so true, you have to love our Queen Mother to experience this pure motherly love, it's overwhelming and pure. God is telling me now, it's my job to educate you, but it's an easy job, for a picture really does, say a thousand words and Our Lady's beauty is best described, as when you see a rainbow, words cannot describe the beauty, all you have to do is be happy, you don't have to describe it. That's what God wants, for us to be happy, seeing the beauty of Our Queen Mother Our Lady, and knowing the royalty we're from, and beauty we're from, before we get to heaven, for so many reasons. Behold your beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. When we grow to adults, we gain so many pleasures which makes us feel almost invincible, with a sense of seems to be, but there is a huge difference between what seems to be, and what is true. So we have all of this stuff, belongings and so many things given by God, but the important part for you is to identify, from what seems to be the way, instead to live loving our Queen Mother Our Lady to build riches in heaven while leading others to do exactly the same, like the honey bee, pollinates the flowers, to bring honey to the queen. This explains why we have so many things, so many options in life, along with free will, to make up our own minds, we therefore have to decide, to live truthfully, and do as Jesus asked us to do, which is behold your mother, our queen mother our lady. There are many who have great riches, and many friends who are always there to pick them up when they fall, but a person who has not got a lot of money, may not have as many friends, and in that person's time of struggle, they have to find their way out of hell alone. So this is a blessing, from God, in times of struggle God is signaling, for you to know what is true, when you're alone, and when you find the strength and love of God, this is where you can help others to do the same. You see if you have great riches, do you really think you would find great truth, or even searched for it, when your riches always make you seek the praise of people? When you're broke, and lost with nobody to help you, this is where your search for God begins, and it's a beautiful path that never ends, each day brings mystery and love. So if you would have had the big house, and the big flash car, this would have made you, unaware of the beautiful truth of being a royal child of God. Amen. The reason why some seem to have more riches than others is, we're all created unique, 
and God wants to reach you, in a time where you think you have lost it all, but when you love Our Lady, hanging the rock of Lars Lager's image in your home, you have just gained something money cannot buy, the love of God. Also when you hang the Divine Mercy image in your home, and love Jesus your Father, you're witnessing firsthand the beauty of your Father, these are all things you may not have done if you were, financially stable, and ahead of the people, you know. Life is about loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, that's what heaven and eternity is all about, so realize this fact of life. This has been proven all over the world, act on this knowledge because Jesus said this is how, we gain riches in the afterlife. So you're unique for a good reason, we all must give unique love to our Queen Mother, and enjoy every minute of this experience, because this is truly how you experience heaven on earth, and for all eternity. So things may not be working well for you, one bad moment after another, day after day maybe year after year, because we must get this true, loving and beautiful message, behold your Queen Mother Our Lady. There is a balance in life, like a weighing scales, where we want to live happily above the scale, but the truth, is when all the bad outweighed the good in life, which makes you fall to your knees in a deep search for Our Lady, this is where you find that, if you had not have fallen so terribly, you would have never known the pure motherly love that awaits every one of us, in the arms of Mother, our heavenly and beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. When you find Our Lady by praying the Rosary prayer daily, and aiming your goals towards serving God, by directing people to Our Lady's pure motherly love, this is where your Father God Almighty, blesses you now and forever. Amen. If we did not struggle in life, how could we gain any reward, we only reap on planet earth, and in the afterlife, what we sow into God's life, and people's life with our lives on earth. God does everything in our time of suffering to reach out to us in spirit, through prayer, and grace to really show us that our whole lives are about loving Mother, our Queen Mother Our Lady. We must love with our free will, we have a choice, to love God or not. God gives us free will because when we decide to love Our Lady, it's true love. Because if we were forced to love our Queen Mother Our Lady, that would not be a way for us to show real child to parent love. This is why, you must seek the truth in life from the Bible and facts about Our Lady around the world. Because when you do this, you will gain knowledge, and wisdom which makes you behave in a way that is pleasing to God. If you don't seek truth, Satan will fill your head with lies, while encouraging you to commit suicide, influencing hatred, and death. God influences love each day, painting a new canvas in the sky, making the birds sing, giving you pleasure, food, friendships and all that you receive each day, to remind you about building riches in heaven, by loving our Queen Mother Our Lady. When we love our Queen, we automatically love one another while honoring God our Father, so loving the Queen of the Universe is the true, and beautiful meaning of life, so much so even the star's pyramid shapes, prove this each night. Even the smallest things in life, like the milk we have in our tea, and are so dependent on in our lives, communicate Our Lady's love for us as her royal children. We don't always get what we want in life, because if we were spoiled, we wouldn't behave correctly, so each time, we love Our Lady by sharing with the people who are lost, through the rosary prayer, and following Jesus, we gain grace to survive, and love day after day. There is a scales that will weigh out all of our actions in life, at judgment day, the only thing that makes your bad behavior outweigh your bad behaviors in life, is the love you showed to Our Lady while on planet Earth. So your unfruitful ways in life may seem right to you because other people are living the same as you, but remember the common words of any parent in a home to their children, saying, if they put their hand in the fire, does that mean you have to do the same? This means just be unique, and beautiful exactly the way you're created to be, you cannot be unique if you're copying other people's fruitless ways, Our Lady desires unique love for her unique life every day in heaven. 
you just have to trust in love, trust in God, trust in the beauty that you are, the royalty that you are, read the Bible, worship Jesus in Holy Mass, then decide to exalt Our Lady and her image in the Rock of Last Lages to the whole world. You should always reject the whispering, cowardly voice of Satan when he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Dismiss the filth Satan tries to put on you with his lies and deceptions, because you're an incredibly beautiful creation and royal child of God, no matter how things may seem to be. It is true the further from God you are in life, the sicker you become and the closer you are to God, by loving our Queen Mother Our Lady the healthier and richer you become, in life and then carry this richness to the afterlife. It doesn't matter how people are behaving around you, you're only responsible for you, and when you fall, make sure to hold mother's hand, to get back on your feet, and then show as many lost people as possible to do the same as you did. When we're really honest and truthful, that when God cries with happiness, because truthfulness is the essence of beauty. As long as you're sharing the gospel message, and the love of our Queen Mother Our Lady, and Jesus Christ, our Father you're being honest, and truthful, and when you hand a person the Rock of Last Lages image and the original Divine Mercy image, you're handing a person an image of their true biological parents, the King and Queen of Heaven. And when you hand a person a set of rosary beads, you're handing them the key to escape hell on earth because by praying the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, you're showing deep love that marks you, and when hell sees this mark of the cross on you, they run from you. By when you don't pray the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, while wearing the rosary beads, miraculous medal, and scapula, hell stalks you, and plays you, like a cat and mouse, drowning you with lies. When a person is drowning you don't throw them painkillers, you throw them a life jacket, it is the same in life when a person is being drowned by Satan's lies, the life jacket is the gospel message because, this beautiful message makes people realize how beautiful they really are as Our Lady's children. Once you know the truth, in life it doesn't matter how bad things get, the truth will always set you free from the filthy chains of Satan's lies. Once you know you're God's kid, you obviously act on this beautiful and life-saving knowledge, by doing exactly as asked. What does God ask us to do? That's an easy answer. The answer is clearly proven in the last words of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary, saying quote, Behold your mother, meaning love our Queen Mother Our Lady, that's it, because all love is prevailed to the world when you love Our Lady. Knowledge is what brings life because without knowledge, you won't know your whole life is based, and created for you to love our Queen Mother Our Lady, because we are all her royal children, children of the King and Queen of Heaven. Life is a lot like, a plain journey you can avoid the storm by loving your Queen Mother Our Lady, and follow Jesus' examples, or choose to go through the storm, because other people have done the same. So it's really your decision. There is a storm ahead of us all in life every day, we can avoid it, or live in hell going through it each day. Peace and pleasure is how God wants you to live each day, that is how everyone lives who really loves and adores Our Lady, so if this is the life you desire, the choice is yours, behold your Queen Mother Our Lady, and life will be a honeymoon every day, but if you don't choose to love your Queen Mother, you will experience hell each day, and it will continue to get worse and worse each day, until you get the message, love your heavenly parents, Our Lady and God Almighty. Jesus said, you will be blessed tenfold on earth, and for all eternity, when you go out of your way sharing the gospel message, to love mother, about us all being God's royal kids, and how to love our Queen Mother Our Lady daily through the rosary prayer. We all need directions in life, and the Bible has all the instructions for your life, and it's your responsibility to seek this life-saving knowledge, just as how you would seek directions in a car journey if you were lost. In life there are also many different people who give us directions, so be wise in who you choose to be your guide in life, or who you choose to direct you, 
by way of life example, Jesus gave us all the examples we need in life, and it's all quite simple, behold your beautiful Queen Mother. Once you hang the Rock of Las Lages image and the Divine Mercy image in your home, God Almighty and Our Lady will direct you, and comfort you each day, making sure you're not led astray. The deeper your trust, in beauty, and the love of God the greater the love you can show to God, therefore the greater the riches you will build in heaven. As we get older we lose more and more close family and friends, because earth is not a place we spend forever, knowledge from the Bible, is the only thing that enables you to understand life, and all that happens, in life. We find ourselves struggling from time to time, with health and worries, but in this time of darkness, the lamp that we use, which is the gospel message, can be the lamp that also leads others out of the fires of hell. It may be a long walk out of hell, but as long as you're heading in the right direction, towards the light, people will also follow, on your journey out of hell, make sure to bring as many people out of hell on earth with you, which is done by holding Our Lady's hand though life. This is the meaning of life. Love our Queen Mother Our Lady, and hold her hand through life, by praying the Rosary Prayer daily to Our Lady and following Jesus' life examples, teaching and last word, to behold your Queen Mother Our Lady. You can see God like I have in my home each day, simply hang the Rock of Las Lages image and the Divine Mercy image in your home, and you will see God, see your Creator, your Heavenly Parents, God Almighty and Our Lady every day. Amen. Suffering comes to us like all, a death of a loved one is very difficult but with knowledge written in the Bible, you're educated that your loved one lives on, so with our pain we're supposed to know we're tested from time to time, and use this test as grace, as an opportunity to behold Our Lady, like Jesus told us to in his last words on the cross at Calvary. Some of us look at pain differently. Some experience pain without knowledge, and turn to all kinds of bad ways in life, to try to mask the pain, but things are not as they seem, we are given tests, that come in the form of pain and suffering, as an enormous opportunity to behold Our Lady, building huge riches in heaven, by bringing people back to their Heavenly Mother's love, which is loving one another, honoring God Almighty and loving our beautiful Queen Mother all at the same time. So you have to understand God's thinking and ways, seek wisdom and knowledge, and then you will know for sure no matter how bad things may seem to be, God calls us all to honor Him by loving and beholding our Queen, our Mother, our Lady, our everything. God tests us lovingly as our parent, but Satan is the one who torments and interferes with God's plans for our lives. This explains why we have to be truly, committed, and dedicated with daily prayer to get a real clear message, because Satan only comes to kill, steal and destroy, the filthy whispering liar, is crushed when you pray the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, so hold Mother's hand at all times. Amen. Being wise is knowing your beauty, knowing you're from God, and Our Lady. Being wise is using knowledge, and pushing past what seems to be so painful, but instead knowing there is so much more than what seems to be, by knowing you're God's child. You experience a time of suffering but can identify with the beauty of the world, the planet we live on, you see truth, instead of lies, when you look at the stars you see so much more, than what meets your eyes, you see God speaking to you, silently but very directly. So you have to be wise, and know, building confidence each day with your Queen Mother Our Lady, by praying the Rosary Prayer daily to Our Lady, and following Jesus' example, teaching and last words to behold your Queen Mother Our Lady. We have God who is proven to be our biological parent, and who calls us to be rewarded, some more than others, were called at times when we struggle, because this is a time when we search for answers. So when we're in this search for life, beauty and a way forward, God puts the gospel message in our path, our cross, and it's our decision if we choose to pick it up, or go back to our old ways, that we lived before. 
When the cross is put in our path, Satan also comes to whisper lies, like he did with Jesus in the desert, trying to convince us we're not from God, and influencing us to commit suicide, instead of picking up our cross. So, on the one hand we have a loving Father, who is God, calling us to reward us for good behavior, and at the same time we have a rotten whispering liar called Satan, trying to destroy us. But why? Well you see there is a battle good against evil, and we have to choose a side, we either love our lady, while following all the examples left by Jesus, or we will be convinced by Satan, that we are no good. God calls us with beauty and love every day, so to make his heart happy we simply love our Queen Mother Our Lady, our natural state is spirit, that is how we were formed, because God is a spirit and God is our biological father. So they expect us to be natural, natural is love, just like nature is loving and beautiful, so is your spirit, so our lady and Jesus who is God Almighty, our father, sit at the edge of their seats of the throne in heaven, hoping we make the right decisions, to love our lady. Not only are we naturally created from loving unique spirits, but all this truth about God being our biological parents is backed up with real hard facts, some written on stone, and cloth, for example the rock of Las Lages, and the Tilma. Yes it's about being different, which is clearly proven by the amazing way we're all created uniquely, no two people are created the same on earth, we even have all unique fingerprints and eyes. So we fall through suffering, we choose to pick up our cross, then Satan attacks, then runs in fear, when he knows you are on God's side, then you get a window of grace, to write a book, or share the gospel message, or hand out the real images of our heavenly mother and father, in the rock of Las Lages image and the divine mercy image, and handing people rosary beads, while telling them the pure motherly love available to all, who pray this beautiful prayer daily to Our Lady. There are so many ways God can use us, but we have to say yes to God, and we have to know what it is that God really wants us to do. God really wants us to know we are his kids, and to know how beautiful our Queen Mother Our Lady really is, as seen in the Rock of Las Lages image, so when we share this message, we share true joy, and true love. You see we are beautiful spirits, created in heaven, belonging to the universe lovingly created by God our Father, but we are tested in our flesh, for example, a person begs on the street, do you choose to walk past, or do you choose stop and help, we're judged, or rewarded on what we decide in that moment. We are tested in so many ways that is just one small example, we lose loved ones all of the time on earth, but it's what we choose to do, with that pain is what the important part is. Because in this time, of pain, we are given an opportunity to be totally honest, searching and finding answers, falling on our knees in pain, but getting back up with a smile, holding our lady's hand, there is nothing more beautiful in life, and it's a lesson we all go through, and have to learn, which explains everything in life. So suffering is a huge opportunity to be true and loving which only comes when you're holding our Queen Mother's hand. Any time I suffered as a child, at the hands of my father who drank at home and was very violent at times, when I told a friend, the pain just disappeared, strangely leaving me feeling better than I did before it happened. So what I am saying is, the choice we get in our time of suffering is, we can look for grace, and directions from people which is easily found but not always trustworthy, or we can search for God, and carry out His will to behold Our Lady. As an adult we don't like repeating ourselves over, and over again, because it becomes very boring, so we're always searching for new ways in life, especially in times of suffering, in a deep search for life, pure love and perfection, which only comes from loving our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady and honoring God our Father. God gives us a choice in this time of our deep search, he puts the cross in our path, and says, please behold your Queen Mother, for this is the meaning of your life. 
God beckons like a lighthouse, warns of the rocks, to turn away from seems to be, instead look for his grace, and truth in the gospel message, so he can give us his favor and blessing, along with the rewards, promised by Jesus in the afterlife. Life can seem like a jigsaw puzzle you have to put together, but the truth is plainly obvious, we're royal children of the King and Queen of Heaven, and they have very high standards, and rewards cannot be rewards, if everyone gets them, this is why we have to be unique, just the natural way we're created to be. I hope you get this part of the message, because it's quite serious, it's very important when we suffer, that we don't blame instead see the truth, over what seems to be true. And it's this vital part where you see past what seems to be, to know what is, meaning we're God's kids and it's proven all over the world, heaven is real, and the rewards we can get, by beholding our Queen Mother Our Lady, with our lives is very real also. So without pain, we don't search for a way, without finding the way, we're lost and we cannot give directions to people if we're lost, therefore we cannot honor God, if we're stuck in Satan's lies, and torments. Behold your Queen Mother Our Lady. Some of us fall hard from suffering in, and think that a drug is the answer, which leads to addictions and more trouble, but Jesus' life examples, last words to behold your mother, and teachings written in the Bible, is really the only way. Jesus' way is the answer to life, we're God's kids, Jesus is our dad, our real biological father which was proven in the Immaculate Conception, and his ways are given to us out of love, to show us that we all have to learn the biggest law of the universe, love your heavenly Queen Mother, Our Lady. This law is beautiful, because Our Lady is so beautiful, and loving her is so easy. It's so easy to pray to her through the rosary prayer when you're looking at her in the Rock of Last Ladger's image, especially when she is looking back at you, and giving you signs and wonders each day. Our Lady's motherly love is what we all search so desperately for, and is so pure, it can only be described by the beauty of a rainbow, when you see its colors and heavenly origin. So it makes sense we're unique for a reason so we can all show unique love to our Queen Mother Our Lady, that's why we all experience different things, different families, different bodies, different circumstances, always remember how diamonds are formed, and that is being squeezed by immense pressure by the earth, so this is how we also shine in life, we weather the storm, and hold Our Lady's hand when we rise. God wants us to be happy so much so he created all the music we enjoy so much, and all the pleasures we turn to each day, to bring us down to rest. Life is all about loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, and we do this by going on a quest for our King Father, just like Shrek from the movie, he wasn't too happy to go on that journey, but he made a friend along the way, and married the princess in the end, meaning life will also have a happy ending. Once you agree to save our Queen Mother from the fiery dragon called Satan, and save all her beautiful children, which is me, you and the population of the world. We all have to get to heaven, and the only way to get there is to take up your sword which is the cross on the rosary bead, your shield which is the miraculous medal, and your armor which is the scapula, and head off on the quest, our King Father asks us to, beholding Our Lady to the whole world. Life is very easy all we have to do is love Our Lady, and follow Jesus' life examples, teachings, and last words to behold your mother and all love is prevailed from this child to parent love. The more you love Our Lady, and follow Jesus' examples the more rewards you get in heaven, that's what our Father says. This is a common lesson we all learn in life when we grow up in a family, with an earthly mother and father where we learn when we love mother, father rewards us, and his favor is compared to a gentle rain on your head, a feeling of grace, and heaven. This is obviously all our heavenly father Jesus asks us to do is love our queen mother our lady, God's wife, and we are their royal kids of heaven, this is the true meaning of life, and it's so beautiful, which explains everything in life, absolutely everything.
Simply love your Queen Mother Our Lady. Amen. Mother is beautiful, and always washes you beautifully clean, just like the way Mother washed you when you were young, well Our Lady cleans you through the Tree of Life, which is your thoughts, and mind, bringing life to your whole body. Mother's hand is warm, beautiful, caring, gentle, loving and always available were the ones who have to make the first move with our free will. Just like the baby eagle who has to decide to fly from the nest, on the cliff edge with the Amazon River below, the baby must decide for itself, and when the baby eagle takes that leap of faith, it realizes it was born to be one with the sun, flying in its thermals. We are the same we have to take that leap of faith, and hold and trust mother's hand and know she will always protect us from any harm, with her pure motherly love. We should always be encouraging beholding, and always loving our Queen Mother Our Lady, that's how we saw like an eagle. If you want to save a people from drowning from the filth of hell, tell people about the power of the Rosary Prayer, and how Our Lady awaits all of us to pray this prayer each day, Our Lady awaits us to pray this prayer the same way any earthly mother in our homes, awaits the words, I love you. This means when we pray the rosary prayer daily to Our Lady, with each Hail Mary, we're simply saying Queen Mother, I love you, I love you, I love you, over and over again, so when you pray the rosary prayer in full, you're telling Mother you love her over 200 times, because the rosary prayer has 200 Hail Mary within its verses. Obviously the more you tell Our Lady you love her, the closer you become to her heart, the closer a baby is to their mother's heart in the womb, the safer and more loved they are, that's where we are in life, we're spiritually inside the womb of Our Lady, which is spoken about in the Bible, and when people have died and came back to life, they have commonly reported the most beautiful tunnel, full of beautiful colors, heading towards the light. When you pray the Rosary Prayer daily, to our Queen Mother Our Lady, you're also telling your King Father, you love him also, but Father prefers us to concentrate on loving Mother, and to honor him, by behaving wisely to bring honor to the throne in heaven. The truth is the truth, and will always be the truth, no matter how we try to think differently, with our extremely intelligent minds, that can think all sorts of things that may justify our behaviors, or enable us to believe in things that are not true, but may seem to be. What seems to be, and what is actually true, are completely different, there are so many ways that seem to be right, maybe because they feel comfortable and right, but God says in the Bible, the way that seems right to a man leads to destruction. This can be compared to rubbing a lion, his hair is soft, and gentle, and he seems to be just like a cat, but without knowledge you won't realize he is, craving your blood. That's all Satan wants for us, is death and to eat us alive, day after day, bringing suffering on an unimaginable scale, but if you don't read the Bible, how will you know? If a child visited a park, accompanied by their beautiful mother, and the park kept lions as pets, then the child refused to hold their mother's hand, even through the mother has knowledge of the lion's true nature. The child you would soon find out the hard way, about the meaning of life, which is always hold your mother's hand, our lady's hand. So you also have to be wise in life, to protect yourself from Satan, who only comes to kill, steal and destroy, there is no greater force on earth, which is a mother's love for her children but the child soon learns, even babies learn, they must always show love to their mother. Picking up your cross in life, is carrying something very heavy, like the ant carries over their weight limit, but doing this to always impress, and love their queen, if this cross was not heavy, where would the reward be, so to honor God, and love our queen mother, we have to push past the pain, and use the suffering as a window of grace, to be unique and do so much more than we would have done, without pain. Amen. Like the old saying, no pain, no gain, this is true, this is why God says, a grain of wheat must die, 
before it produces any food. Well we die, to our old ways, in life buried in the ground, but soon realize as soon as we grow to the sun, Jesus Christ ways, this is the beautiful way, we were naturally created to be. We were not created to behave like a fish in a fish bowl, swimming from one place to the next, over and over, trying to find life, rather were created to, experience life, and then come to God in truth, and knowing of the one who were called to be. This reality easily manifests into a beautiful existence, when you hang the rock of Lars Lager's image and the original divine mercy image in your home because you're seeing your heavenly parents each day, which brings the beauty of our true reality as God's kids into your being. Everybody that hangs the rock of Lars Lager's image in their home, always reports the same thing, of how Our Lady's eyes follow you, no matter what angle you look at this beautiful image, our Queen never takes her beautiful eyes off you. This proves how alive this image is and proves how much Our Lady wants you to hang this heavenly image in your home. This is the same for the Divine Mercy image, but you will have to decide to hang these beautiful images, to see for yourself. We all need daily encouragement, and love, and all parents crave love from their children, meaning Our Lady craves our love, because we belong to God, unlike an earthly mother who carries a child for roughly nine months. Our Lady may carry us in her womb on earth for 100 years, and in this time Our Lady's story of choice to read to us while we slumber is the Bible. Once we're born the second time, which Jesus spoke about, we have to know God, so life is a huge awakening to be one with God, also a huge opportunity to build great riches for yourself, and loved ones in the afterlife. So the stakes are extremely high, we can choose to awaken while carrying out a seemingly normal life, with family and friends, winning souls for heaven, or we can choose to live by the way that seems so right to us, which leads to destruction, meaning we can work for God, and reap a king's reward, or choose not to, and live without true joy and life within us. If McDonald's offered you a job, at 10 euro per hour, flipping burgers for the rest of your life, and the king of France offered you a job, just telling people how beautiful his queen was, at a rate of 1,000 euros per hour, which do you think would be the choice to make? Well the king is calling you, who is far richer and greater than any king on earth, almighty God created all of the riches of the world, and only calls us to behold our lady to the world, sharing her image in the rock of Lars Lages, educating the lost about the gospel message educating one another of the beauty and greatness, we are from, and how we can gain a king's reward on earth, and in the afterlife by following all of Jesus' life examples written in the Bible, this is a beautiful fact of life. Every song, every good film we watch, every song a bird sings, every star we see at night, every time the sun rises, every time God has a message for us through nature, it all says one natural and obvious message, behold your beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. So life is clearly telling us to love our Queen Mother Our Lady, that's the meaning of life, and trust me, from all the treasure hunts we play as kids, this is the meaning of it all, Our Lady is the treasure at the bottom of the rainbow, so much so we even learn from our marriages, on how the Queen must always come first. The whole world points to Our Lady the pyramids, the stars, the planets, the universe, a mother's true love, the beauty of nature, baby's love for their mother, instinct, birth and rebirth, rewards for good behavior and punishment bad behavior, the list goes on forever. The biggest message that is so loving to see each night in the stars each night, is the Holy Trinity Triangle, this is a form of triangles in the stars each night where each there are three points, that indicate what your life is all about which is, mother, father, and child, you are God's child. This message of the Holy Trinity Triangle is found on our bodies, it's written on the leaves, communicated within the birds, the pyramids of Egypt, it's also absolutely seen everywhere. We really do only get what we ask for in life, 
Do you want to know the meaning of why we're on planet Earth? Do you want to know the one who forms the clouds each day and who makes the sun rise each morning? Or are you happy to live a life steering from the unique way you're created to be? John the Baptist was unique, Abraham was unique, Moses was unique, Padre Pio was unique, even in bad health they still chose to work for God sharing the gospel message, so rewards don't come from being someone you're not created to be. This may seem difficult to understand, but it's actually quite simple and obvious, in fact it's written and proven all over the planet on how we are to behold Our Lady to the entire population of the world, if we choose to, so it all falls on the decisions you make. If you decide not to eat for a month, you will soon witness the result of this decision, it's the same in life, if you decide not to behold Our Lady, and educate the lost about Our Lady as our beautiful Queen Mother, you will witness and experience this unfruitful result, so we have a choice an exciting choice to make, hold our Queen Mother's hand throughout our life in all that we do, or don't, it's up to you. There is nobody like you in the whole world, you're created beautifully and unique to the rest, so don't be afraid to be different, you're unique for a great reason, and this is to make Mother happy. Our free will gives us a huge opportunity to have the world as our oyster, or to have the world as our stumbling block. It's such a beautiful experience to hold mother's hand, it's warm, and kind and the meaning of life. As kids we fell, scratched our knees, but who was always the one to bathe us, and comfort us, who was the one we ran to, when we lost it all, the answer is our earthly mothers. God has ingrained this beautiful reality, and instinct within us from a young age, so we know who to run to when we grow into adulthood. This means when we're adults we're still God's kids, and can run to mother, as often as we desire. We may not run to Our Lady as adults over a scratched knee, but may run over bigger things in life, the need for her pure motherly love. The most important part to remember is mother is here now, and was will be here, we are eternal human beings, where our spirits live forever. Our Lady always asked us the same thing on every apparition. Pray the rosary prayer daily to her, follow Jesus' life example, teaching and last words, and love the church for the church is where we all congregate to celebrate Mother and Father, Our Lady and God Almighty. Soon all churches will have the Rock of Las Lages image and the Divine Mercy image clearly visible on their altars of the world, with one main message from, Our Father who is King, about his love for his beautiful wife, who is Queen simply saying to his royal kids, Behold your beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. We celebrate Holy Mass, to grasp the message from our Father to love our Queen Mother Our Lady, which gives us grace each day to educate the lost, and new generations about our beautiful Queen Mother Our Lady. This is best done by handing out images of Our Lady seen in the Rock of Las Lages image, and handing out rosary beads miraculous medal, and scapulars, also by giving people Bibles to educate themselves, on all the laws, guidance, and facts of life. To reach the lost and new generations, we also hand out the images of the original Divine Mercy image, to show the true beauty of our Father, along with his message to all his children, to love their mother, our Queen Mother Our Lady. There is nothing more exciting than to have a church where we all know the beauty, that can be evidently seen in both images, of the love and beauty were created from, and to have all these facts about God, and Our Lady, written on stone, books and cloth around the world, like the Rock of Las Lages, Lourdes, Fatima, Nock, Mejagorge, the Tilma. We even have all the messages from nature from the ants carrying over their weight to impress, and love their Queen Mother. The Rock of Las Lages image and the Divine Mercy image are the crucial piece of the puzzle, because sometimes all a child needs to be consoled is to see their parents, because sometimes seeing is believing. So without these images in our churches, people may still leave the church lost and afraid, so it's our job to make the church our home 
where Mama and Dad's images are clearly seen, and worshipped by their beautiful, and royal children. Amen.